Hi, in this video, I will show you how to get the SharePoint list attachments and send an email as an attachments. Okay, so let's start building the flow. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use when an item is created. And my SharePoint list is called demo1. Okay, next I'm going to declare an array here. That's called the variable. So let's name it as files. And that's an array. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to attach more than one file, then get that from the item list, then send that as an attachment in an email. Yep. Yeah. The next step, I'm going to use get attachments. Again, selecting the same site. And uh, remember, my list name is called demo1. Then the ID. So click on the dynamic values and you can see the ID here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to use get attachments. Attachment content actually, yeah. Here it is. Right. Okay. So for that, we need to select again the same ID. So that is that ID which is coming from the trigger. Yeah, that's ID we want. Then the file identifier of the attachments. That's coming from the get attachments. I'm going to rename this to two to remove the two actually. Yeah. Okay. Then file identifier. See that? That's a file identifier ID which is coming from the get attachments. So that put an apply to each loop here that because get attachments may have more than one attachments. That's the reason. Okay. Now I'm going to add a compose here now in this compose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two curly brackets, open and close to one, then name and I'm going to click on the dynamic one and look for the get attachments display name. See that? That's the one I'm after. Then comma. Then I want the content bytes. I want the content actually. Yeah, for that. So that content bytes is coming from the get attachment step. Again, click here. You can see the attachment content here. See that? That's what I'm after here. Okay. The next step, remember we declared a variable called array. So all I'm going to do now here is append array. Select the variable name that is files and then the combos action step. That is that output. So that means once the, this loop is executed, we'll be having the name and the content bytes here. And the final step is an easy one. Minimize the apply to each loop. Then outside the loop, I'm going to use send email. Okay, I can use, uh, you know, Office Outlook or the other one. I'm going to use Office Outlook connector here. And uh, use send an email version 2. And send it to me that. Then here I'm going to say demo list attachment list file attachment okay just put 
something in the body and then show advanced options if you look here you can see the attachments here see that name and the content so because it's dynamic i'm going to click on switch switch to text mode there we go place your cursor inside click on the dynamic content and use the files there that, that's what we need to use okay now i'm going to name this flow as demo sharepoint list attachment email save the flow once the flow is saved okay that's done i'm going to click the test click on manually and test so what at this stage what the flow is going to do is it's going to prepare it so this is a way you know you can easily test the flow so now the flow is waiting for you know the list to create so here i'm going to click on new i'm going to say like holiday pictures then add an attachment okay so under the you know, file attachment what i need to do here is i got a file in my directory called slash lake view that's one again i'm going to add another one so again click on the add attachment and the next one is grand canyon one i got so c colon agent there we go send the file there open that so those are the two files i'm going to click on save now so hopefully our flow should trigger now at this stage and then execute the relevant steps and send the email so here it is now it's executing the apply to each loop and finally you know the flow send the email hopefully in a minute or two i should get that email now okay so i received my email as you can see you know these are the two files i attached so you, you can see my attachments here both of the file you know retrieved from the sharepoint list attachments and received that as an email so that's the video about remember i used when an item is created then use the get items passing the id from the previous step then you know getting all the attachment contents and the key thing here is the combos action step which got a specific format we need to use that is the file name and the content bytes then we are appending that to an array finally we can place that file array object under the attachments of the send email action step hope this use this video is useful thank you for watching